Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Right now, I'm really, really excited to be talking to the cast of Princess Academy. It's a film that, or pardon me, a film, a play that's going to be going on at the Timpanogos Valley Theater. It's uh, it's adapted from Shannon Hale's book of the same title. It was originally uh, aired or premiered in last December, December of 2016. But this is the first time it's going to be produced by an all youth cast and crew, which I'm very excited to <laughs> talk about. You guys should be very proud of yourselves because that's a, an enormous undertaking. So, yes. <laughs> um, let's introduce you guys. Maggie, you are the director. Yes. Yes. What role are you going to be playing in the in the uh, play besides? So director? I'm not in the play this year. When okay. it originated last year for the world premiere, I played Mary, and this year I'm just directing. Perfect. So you're taking that experience of actually playing in the play and taking it behind the scenes. Yeah. Exactly. How has that experience been? It's been really cool, actually. It was kind of scary at first because it's like kind of handing over a piece of my own heart and like here. Do what you will with it, but yeah. it's been really cool, and everyone's done a fantastic job, so it's really exciting. Good. Well, excellent. And Ashley Ann, what role are you playing in, in um, the play? So I play the part of Britta, okay. and Britta, she um, like comes um, to Mount Eskel because she, um, her father for like forced her to go, but he is he dies. And so everyone thinks she's kind of like this snobby rich girl, so she doesn't really have much friends and is kind of sad. <laughs> but her character is much deeper than that, I'm yeah. sure, right? Yeah. There's things that yeah. are discovered later on in the play that make you probably yeah. feel a little more empathetic yeah. yes. for the character, right? Yeah. I'm sure. And Mia, what role are you playing? I play Mary, the main part, and she is a girl who is, <clears throat> is very small and skinny for her age, and it's really important to be buff and like messy. <laughs> she wants to be really strong. She wants to be strong and work in the quarry, but her pa, um, she believes that her pa thinks that she is too small and stupid and all that sad stuff and that she can't <laughs> work in the quarry because <clears throat> she's useless. And so she really wants to work in the quarry and prove herself to her pa. And prove, prove him wrong, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. show the world that she can do it, right? Mm -hmm. And Jefferson, what role do you play? I play Pater. I'm uh, Miri's best friend. And then things start getting kind of awkward, like we're older now and I think I might like you. So, yeah. <laughs> so that comes into play too. Yep. All right. Well, Maggie, tell me a little bit about what made you interested in the play in the first place. Did you read the book before you knew that the play was going to be coming out? And and um, was it December of 2016? Correct. Yeah. So um, I've read the book, or I'd read the book years ago, and I loved it. It was amazing. I really related to the character of Miri, and so I loved the book a lot. And then. Um, I used to live in South Jordan, okay. and then I moved up to Heber, which is where we're putting on this show. And the community theater in South Jordan, where I had grown up doing all of my shows, um, announced that they were doing Princess Academy. And I was like, oh, I want to do that so bad. Like, I have to go back. And so I went back to South Jordan for a couple months, and I did the show with them. And it was so fun, because it was like getting to come home for a little while and putting on this amazing show. And it's it's really been a huge part of my life. Like, I'm obsessed with the show. And now you guys get to put it on for the Hebrew Valley exactly. residents, which so I'm sure they're doing. Yeah. my old home to my new home through Mount Eskel, mm -hmm. which is just amazing. How <laughs> excellent is that? Now, Mia, I wanted to talk to you about your character because we're showing a few pictures right here from the, a little bit of behind the scenes from the development of the play, you guys working on it and practicing. But, Mia, I wanted to talk to you about your character because it seems like you ha relate a lot to your character. You have a lot to prove to the world and show them that they're wrong, right? Yes. So, and why exactly is that? Because um, I'm blind, which kind of limits, limits my... Um, most people think that I can't do a lot of things. Like, some people think that I can't climb upstairs, which is really <laughs> weird. And some people, you totally can, yeah. <laughs> I can climb upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> and I like, want to prove myself that like, I can actually do it because... Like, I can do it, even though I'm different from a lot of people. I just do it in different ways. I think it's, you make a great point. It's not that you can't do it. You just have a different take on the way it, it's done. You have a different way of interpreting that character and a different way of playing that character, which I think is really important. I, I love your spirit. I love the way you're approaching this role. I think you're an amazing <laughs> young woman, really. Thanks. Absolutely. So what are your guys' tell me, um, Ashley Ann, what's your favorite part about playing your role? What are you, what are you most excited about? Um, the thing that I'm most excited about I don't know. I feel like I can kind of relate to my character a lot too, which you learn more as it gets like <laughs> closer to. I'm not like yeah. Don't give any no spoilers, everything. right? Yeah. We want people to be yeah. excited. Yeah. 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 I don't know. It's just 
I love like being a part of it and just being with like all my friends because I have lots of friends that are in this play and it's so much fun. And awesome. Ashley Ann is pretty much the sweetest person you'll ever meet, <laughs> oh my just gosh. like Britta. Yeah. So just like cute. Britta. She's very similar to her. Perfect. And Jefferson, how about you? What are you most excited about? I just love doing it. It's like the highlight of my week, and it's just so fun <laughs> dancing with Mia. It's a party. <laughs> awesome. And what are you guys' backgrounds in theater? Is this your guys' first play, second play? Oh, how, how do you? Like, I'll, um, I'll start with you, Jefferson, and then I'll move on to you, Mia. I've been doing theater a while. I, I started when I was like eight. I was Oliver and Oliver. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. And then I just sort of stopped, and then in my high school year, I did Mary Poppins. Nice. And that sort of got me back in this theater game, so then I auditioned for this, and it was and now a you're good back. choice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yep. I'm sure you're very excited to yes. be back in it. And Mia, how about, how about you? How long have you been uh, doing theater? Well, so I started in second grade, and I did this really weird play called Doo-Wop Wed Whiting Hood. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest play. And I was a, like, bad fairy Edda, and I like the tiniest fairy, and like, I had one line. It was great. But, um, and then I started doing TVT, and it was really fun. Like the first play wasn't as fun because like the mics didn't work and all that stuff. <laughs> but um, it was really fun because I got to be in plays and be with friends, and it was like the like that. I love to sing and just have fun, and I loved being a grandma on Willy Wonka <laughs> and all that fun stuff. That's great. Yeah, it seems like a great way to meet some fellow some kids your guys' age yeah. and be part of the big community. I mean, we have a huge thespian community here yeah. in mm -hmm. Utah, so it's great. Um, tell me a little bit about when and where this, this production is happening. So we actually open this Friday. Okay. We perform the 23rd and the 24th at 7 o'clock, I believe. And then next weekend, March 2nd and 3rd, we have three shows. A night show on the 2nd and a matinee and a night show on the 3rd. And yeah, that's our run. We're really excited. Wow, yeah. you guys are busy. <laughs> yeah. You guys got a lot of shows coming up. So where can people buy tickets? Online or is it just straight at the box office so at the theater? You can buy them either way, online or at the box office. It's timpvalleytheater.org. Okay. Or you can come to the theater, which is in Heber City, Utah. Perfect. Well, thank you all so much for coming on the show this morning and <laughs> talking to me and telling everyone about the great, great uh, play that's going to be happening in the Heber Valley in the coming weeks. Thank really excited. You. It was a pleasure thank meeting you. all of you. You too. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Nice Absolutely. to meet you. Thank you. Can't wait to see it. All right. We'll be <laughs> continuing our show here on the Mountain Morning Show after this break, but be sure and check out the Princess Academy playing in the Heber Valley at the Timpanogos Valley Theater. As she, uh, Maggie said, you can go online and buy tickets or go to the box office. It'll be starting uh, this Friday as well as Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. And then the weekend after, they have plenty of shows coming up, so be sure and check it out. It's an all-youth produced play. It's going to be great. Let's uh, take a break. We'll come back and continue our show here. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere.